Hey guys, welcome to another Motor Monday. And today, we're not really gonna be showing you just one motor in particular. We're gonna show you, well, most of our lineup of motors and probably crank a few while we're at it. Um, the plan is to go ahead and give you a brief description of what it is, how we got it, what we're doing to it, if we're doing anything to it. If we take it to shows, yada, 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 you get the gist. I wanna say before we start, in some of my previous videos, you might notice that one of our voices get kind of hard to hear. My plan is to fix that, and I'm waiting for that option to be in the mail. But let's go and get started with uh, our motor lineup. All right, so we have 10 flywheel engines sitting out here right now, and that's not even all of them. We just got back from a show, and these are just the ones that happen to be sitting down here. All right, so this is our six horsepower Fairbanks Morris Model Z. And as you can see, this one's actually currently getting worked on. Um, there's the piston in there, but we don't want to use this one. So we bought a piston blank and we've actually been in the process of turning it. We'll keep you updated as we work on it. It was frozen when we got it. The valves were rusted into. This crank gear was rusted with teeth rusted off of it. I actually welded teeth back on it with a buzz box and ground them back with a uh, just a little uh, Dremel tool. I had to buy a new one. That's my new cam gear. I uh, got my steel cam. Uh, I had to buy a rod. The rod was actually rusted in two. Uh, so I'm gonna board about 30 over. I'm turning the new piston blank so it'll be 30 over. It should be like a brand new engine when I put it back. This motor from the factory is a throttle fed engine. But because we can't leave well enough alone, we have some tricks up our sleeve. We'll get into that later as we're doing updates on how this video's, um, or how the progress of this motor's going. You can probably check those out on Wednesdays. Um, we'll make them as we do stuff. I mean, this has probably been a project for the last six months and we're just doing it as we have time to do it. So the next motor we have is one you've already seen uh, before. I'll go ahead and pop up a link to its video. It's our four horsepower Nelson Brothers. Runs good, we took it to a show yesterday, ran all day for us. All right, so normally this motor takes about four turnovers to um, get gas sucked up to the carb and then it'll hit on the fourth. All right, this one it should hit. Oh. Turn, turn it off? Gas get to it? Gas turned on? Yeah. Or run. Interesting. There we go. Uh, she might be somewhat out of gas. We haven't ran it. All right, so if you want to learn more about that motor that we just saw, um, go ahead and check out the video. It's a Motor Monday number two, actually. We get into details of what it was like when we first got it, more history of the motor and all that. So next we're going to go ahead and, this motor, I'm actually going to try and buy if I can, because I don't actually own a hit and miss, and I really want one, and I've been in the hobby for like six years now, and I still don't have a motor to myself. But <laughs> this is a uh, leader. It's made by the Field Forge Pump Company. I don't ex I actually don't know a lot about this motor, honestly. I know we got to do a little bit of work to it. Um, has compression. Yeah. Seems like almost everything's there. It's just pretty much cleaning it up. Um, got to make a new gas line from the tank because that's missing or broke. And cool. So actually on the tag it says this is a four horse. But anyways, I'm going to actually try and buy it from the owner just to see if I can get my own motor. If I get it, I'll tear it completely down restore it and get it running good so I can take it to shows. All right, so this next motor is our one and a half horsepower T Eaton. This was our Motor Monday video number one. Um, if you want to hear more about how we got a hold of it or the background of what we did to fix it, go ahead and check that video out. I'll pop up a card on the screen. Go ahead and take a look. This was a cold start of it. We haven't cranked it since the show yesterday and 
Well, it turned over in one flick, didn't it? So, if you know anything about the T. Eatons, they're uh, made by Waterloo Boy. And they're contracted out to other companies. So, Waterloo Boy would make the engine and then another company would sell it as their brand. The reason um, I'm bringing up the Waterloo Boy in the contract motors is because this T. Eaton is a contract engine and the one we have sitting beside it is also a contract engine made by the same company but they're sold under two different names so this is our t eaton one and a half horsepower and this is our majestic two horsepower this motor is also a contract motor uh both made by waterloo and the only differences between this motor and the t eaton are well the hopper Mac. And the fact that this one has a mag instead of igniter setup. Oh, the thing's under. There. there we go. We'll go ahead and explain more about this motor in a later video. Um, I'm actually planning on making it either this weekend or next weekend. All right. So the next vid or the next engine <laughs> loved it. <laughs> All right, so the next engine in our lineup is a 1910 Hiredman made by the Associate line. Um, hit and miss. All right, so it's a um, hit and miss, two and a quarter horse. It runs, um, ran with an igniter setup. We'll have to do a video another day, kind of going more into detail with it. Um, it does run, but it's kind of a pain in the butt, and I don't think we have gas in it, so we'll save it for another day. Next in our lineup is the... Made in England, another English engine, just like our Lister. It's a uh, Bradford throttle governed motor. This motor runs, we take it to shows. Um, it's throttle governed, closed crank. We'll do a video on it on another day. It has a lot of compression. It's very hard to turn over. Personally, I don't like running it or trying to crank it at least. The next engine in our lineup is what I like to say is the biggest pain in the butt out of all of them that we've had so far. Um, this engine was originally mine. I sold it for a pair of brakes for my monster mower. Everything on it was froze and stuck. And man, it has a story that we'll have to save for another day. But just like our big six horsepower, this is our small Fairbanks Morris Model Z. And it is Two horse. Yeah, so it's a twin to the six. Everything's just bigger. This one is pretty cool. We have it set up with a wall vacuum pump. You don't see many of them around. Um, wall was actually Quincy Compressor Company before Quincy Compressor Company was Quincy Compressor Company. We'll explain a little bit more about this motor in another video, but we'll go ahead and just give it a quick crank real quick and let you hear it run. Hold your hand over one turn. Did you get any gas on your hand? Yeah, a little. This motor was built and restored by the guy you just saw who cranked it. And I tell you the truth, I'm glad I didn't have to do the work on it. Good running motor. We'll make a motor Monday about it um, here in a couple weeks. Let it show you guys it, show it off, explain the horrible story behind it. And after that, we'll go ahead and show you another throttle governed motor we have. All right, so next in our lineup is our 1925 Model B two horsepower throttle governed wit. This was actually the motor that pretty much started it all. This motor would originally run a water pump. Um, we would crank it for you today, but we have a dead battery on it, and with a dead battery, you don't get spark, so we'll have to make a video on it another day, but this is actually one of my more favorite engines to run. Um, I really like it, and I can make it do some cool tricks. That we'll show you in another video. All right, so last but not least in our motor lineup of, well, most of our motors, we have probably about 10 more sitting in the garage that we just haven't pulled out, is our one and a half horsepower ideal hit and miss this one is uh my buddy ties he bought it and pretty much restored it to the way you see it now it runs great we take it to shows with this um the best thing he did to it was add a compression release because without it you cannot turn this thing over it's a stout motor but we'll get we'll go ahead and do a cold start on it here in a second we'll end up doing another motor monday with it 
in a couple weeks. But let's go ahead and hear it start up. So what's pretty neat about this one is um, it's an air-cooled motor and a lot of them that you see at tractor shows or on the internet don't have the shroud. This is actually all the original shroud and it's the flywheel is powering a little fan that blows air across the cylinder, keeps it cooled down. Uh, it's pretty rare to see the shroud on them. Uh, this one is a little beat up. We might go and clean it up one day, but it works. So we'll end up doing a motor Monday on this one also and kind of explain a little bit more about it. So. We'll go back down the lineup real quick and go ahead and give you, is it a work in progress or do we take it to a show? Is it running or not running? Because some of the motors we showed you today run, but we just didn't crank them up, mainly because we didn't want to put gas in them or have a battery charged. So we'll start with the last one. Ideal hit and miss, runs. We take it to show. Whenever we go to a show, you'll probably see it there. Our wit, runs. We take it to shows, you'll probably see it there. Fairbanks Morris put too much work into it to not take it to shows, so you'll see it there. Fully restored, not much going on with it after this except running it. Uh, our Bradley throttle governed engine. This one we take to shows every now and then. It's kind of heavy and a pain in the butt and kind of on a small cart, so it may be toss up if we take it to a show or not. Don't currently have any plans for it except running it and enjoying it pretty much around the property. But the associated line, hit and miss uh, this one needs to be bored and sleeved and some minor work but as you can tell it is restored we take it to shows every now and then it does run we'll do a video on it one day here's our majestic we take it to shows not restored don't really have any plans for it at the moment it's a cool little motor we enjoy running it now we have our t eaten not restored plans to restore it in the future but it runs too good now it is one of our main show pieces that we take with us so now we have our four horse leader it's um currently not running currently not restored the plans for it are unknown at the moment um we'll figure something out keep you updated on it next we have our four horsepower nelson brothers it is not restored, but it does run, so we take it to shows with us all the time. Uh, we enjoy it. The problem with this one that we found is that it coasts too long between hits and people get bored of watching it just spin forever. So, but we like it. Love it, actually. One of my favorite motors to run. All right, so last but not least is our six horsepower Fairbanks Model Z. This one is just a scaled up version of our two horsepower running the wall pump. Uh, this motor is currently in the process of being restored. It's kind of on the side project right now. We're probably gonna get cracking on it now that it's becoming winter or it's fall now, but we'll probably make it a winter project. Um, this one, we have some special tricks up our sleeves we plan on doing with it, but we'll let you guys know about that one later. Um, expect update videos every now and then from it, uh, showing you our progress on it. That's all we got for you for this video. This was probably half of our lineup of motors. These are the ones that you'll probably see at a show or will soon be seeing at shows as we get them working trying to find a place to put all these things is quite a challenge but that's all i got for you for this video so if you want to see some more information about some of these motors check out our motor monday videos or wait for a video to come out each one of these motors will get its own separate motor monday video that explains how we got it the background of the history history of the company just general knowledge of the motor and watching it cold start and run so if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see some more information about all these motors, check out Motor Monday or subscribe to my channel to get some more updates. I'm Cody. This is MWF Garage, and thanks for watching.